Hi there, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be discussing about Amazon Linux 2023, that is AL2023. I'll show you how to install with the virtual box and little bit comparison, I'll showcase like uh, what are the key differences and all you can, there is a huge list that you can compare with Amazon Linux 2 and Amazon Linux 2023. I'm not going to show you how to create a seed file and all. So that for that, you can just check my previous video in which I have shown you how to create a seed file and all. I will just show you how we can uh, download uh, VMware and how we can extract that file and then how we can run it in a virtual box. So seed file, you can utilize the older one that you can follow the steps in that, how to create a seed file. So in this Amazon Linux 2 is the next generation Amazon Linux from Amazon Web Services. So it is a general purpose base Linux distribution and a successor to the Amazon Linux 2022 or Amazon Linux 2. So it is optimized for cloud with a focus on stability, security, as well as the performance. And moreover, it is having long-term support with access to the latest innovation in Linux. And also we have uh, like a new major version that is being released every two years. So this is the one that is being released by the AWS. So there is a five years of long-term support. So these are the key things that about Amazon Linux 2023. So I will just jump into the details of this. So you can see over here, you can just follow the link. I'll just provide in the description of the video. So you can have a look into this. What is Amazon Linux 2023? and naming, versioning, what are the customized cloud init commands over there, then what is the relationship to Fedora, networking service, and what are the functionalities that are being deprecated functionality in an Amazon Linux 2. And we, you can just have a look into the comparison between Amazon Linux 2 and 2023, or Amazon Linux 3. So you can see what has been added, upgraded, and removed packages. You can get a whole detail about it over here and you can have a comparison between both of them. So Python 2.7 has been replaced with Python 3. So you will get a huge list security updates. OpenSSL 3 is there. So there are certain things being removed. So you can also uh, have a comparison at the AMI level. You can have uh, what are the packages that, that are being added over here when you install so what are the things that uh, you are going to get it so you can just go through this the whole thing one by one so it's a huge list so while using this also there will be some uh, some changes compared to amazon linux 2 and 3 but i'm going to use the same seed file that has, i have created for the amazon linux 2 that is not difference over there so just the image for that you can just go to the link over here and I will just use this VMware. You can download this VMware ESX 2023, x86 and 64. There is no 32-bit. So you need to download this. After downloading, you extract this one using, if you're using a Windows, uh, you have to use star hyphen xvzf. So that will extract your files. So I have kept it over here like this. So you can see this is the file that I have downloaded and this is after extraction, I got this virtual machine disk. So this is the one that we needed and this is a seed.iso file. And in order to see how I have created the seed.iso file, just go to my previous video. I will provide the description of that video, link to that video so you can see how we can have our seed file being created. So moving on to the next, so in, inside this, the most important thing, the user data and all, I'm using the same user, EC2 hyphen user and the password that is being mentioned in this user data file. So you can have a look over here and the metadata file that is being used. So you can see a uh, password and once you log in, it will tell you to change the password. So initially, once you have installed it, you have to use this password, whatever you mentioned in this user data file, so that will be embedded in the c.iso file. So once you have all these things, you can go ahead with any 
uh, I will be using this virtual box. So you can click on this new. So let's say AL2023 demo. So make it sure you have the seed file and all Linux. Let it be over here, Red Hat. So we will click next and then next. And here we have to choose use an existing virtual hard disk file. So I have already over here added, but still you can click add. And so I have in this folder that file. Okay, so it is telling it's already exist. Okay, let's choose the existing one next and then finish. Don't start it. So we have to make some uh, changes in the settings over here. In the settings, just go to the storage. Here, just go to the controller IDE, click on this option over here, choose a disk file. So we have to basically choose the C.ISO file and click OK. Uh, I think I missed out one more thing in the network. In the network level, make it show you have over here bridge adapter. So it will utilize your existing physical device network. So that's all. After making those changes, you can click on the start. So it will take some time to start. So you can just click on the show. You can maximize the screen so you can see it is booting. It will take some time. So So you can see it is using my user data that is being defined in the seed. So host name vm underscore just fall that is being entered. The warnings are coming. No need to worry about that. So We just wait for a few minutes. So here we go. You can see EC2 hyphen user. It will take some three, four minutes to install. So EC2 hyphen user that is being defined in the user data file. Password that is the initial password that is being defined. So you can see it is telling you required to change your password. So I will enter my existing password then I will enter the new password. So here we go. So this is how we can utilize the Amazon Linux 2023 on our VMware. So there were some issues being faced by some of the subscribers. So I hope it will solve the issues. So if still, if some issue persists, you can just comment on the video. I'll let you know like uh, how we can troubleshoot together. So I hope you like my video. So please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.